Did you know there are many different properties you can edit on your Easy Worship Media? From setting mark in and mark out points, to telling the video to always loop, or whether to use it as a background or foreground. To get to these settings, open Easy Worship and click on the Media tab. When you click on Videos, you'll see your full library of videos you have available in Easy Worship. Right click the video you want to edit and select Edit Video Properties. This will open the Video Properties window and your video will play in the preview. On the right side of this window, you can adjust the settings you want for this video. So we'll go through each section. At the top is where you can edit the title and set a thumbnail. As the video plays in the preview window, clicking the thumbnail will take a snapshot of the video to use as the thumbnail. The clip properties allow you to set start and stop points for your video. For example, Let's say I have a five minute countdown video that I really like, but I only want it to be three minutes. I can move the scrubber where I want to start the video and click mark in and adjust the timing with the up and down arrows. Or I can just enter the timing I want in the start position and press enter. I could do the same with the end position if I don't want the video to play to the end. There's also a reset button that will reset those settings if you need to start over, or if you just want to edit the video for one use, and now you want it back to the original length. Next is the media properties. Before I start with this section, I want to define the buttons. Easy Worship has a default function for media depending on how it's used. A background video, which is being used as a background to songs, scriptures, or presentations, will automatically loop and stretch. A foreground video, which is a video being played by itself, or as an element on a slide, will automatically play to the end and stop, and will maintain its aspect ratio. Any of these properties can be changed, but any that are left on auto will still be determined by how it's used. If you change this video to a background, and leave the rest on auto, even if you go live to the video by itself, it will loop and stretch. If you change the repeating to on, anytime you go live to this video, whether it's a background or a foreground, it will loop. If you always want to zoom it in to fill the screen, instead of stretching it, you can click on zoom. As you can see, there are a number of different combinations to select, depending on what you want it to do. I will mention that the most common thing people change here is the repeating. A lot of users have videos they want to loop, and this allows you to set it to loop without having to set it in the live window after you go live. The last section is the audio properties. Here you can adjust the volume level and set it to mute if you don't want audio at all. Click on the info tab at the top and you can edit the title, author, and copyright and write a description and tags for searching purposes. Once you're finished with your editing, click OK to save your changes. Now click on the Images Library and right-click an image and select Edit Image Properties. Because these are still images, you won't have as many settings to change here. Under the Media Properties, you can change the usage to either Background or Foreground and you can change the aspect ratio to stretch, maintain, or zoom. Again, under the Info tab, you can edit the copyright and add descriptions and tags. Then click OK to save your changes. And finally, click the Audio Library, and right-click an audio file, and select Edit Audio Properties. Here, you will have the same properties as a video except for aspect ratio, since it's only an audio file. When you're finished editing, click OK to save your changes. The changes you make to these media items will be saved in your database, but you can always edit the properties again to change them back to defaults. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Easy Worship.